Tom Hanks, exposed, has secretly lived at San Francisco, confirmed Meg and Harry already divorced privately. After fleeing the UK to set up their new home in LA in 2020, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex found themselves the toast of Tinseltown, but just a few short years later, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle had been pushed firmly down to the sea list following their repeated attacks on the monarchy. In London, Harry only needed to click his fingers and people would line up to invite him to their upscale bashes, a source told a US publication. But that's just not happened for him and Meghan here, and that's a real kick in the teeth. When the pair were newlyweds, they'd bona fide power couples like George and Amal Clooney and Barack and Michelle Obama beating down their door. However, the old pals have ditched the pair after they spilled winds of family secrets in their six-part Netflix docuseries. Usually at the centre of the drama, even Oprah Winfrey didn't want to appear on their dramatic show to defend the couple. And according to reports, stars including Tom Hanks, Julia Roberts, Jennifer Aniston and even Brad Pitt are choosing not to get too friendly with the Sussexes. The big A-listers are seeing the Sussexes as reality TV type fodder now. Nowhere was their fall from grace more evident than when Meghan tried to line up a star-studied guest list for her Archetypes podcast series. While Meghan was desperate to discuss being labelled a bimbo with Legally Blonde star Reese Witherspoon, the actress put a friendship with the Princess of Wales first and apparently refused to appear. The former suit star also upset Lucy Liu by labelling her a dragon lady in Kill Bill and saying a character helped to portray negative stereotypes against Asian women. Kill Bill features three other female professional killers in addition to Ishii. Why not call Uma Thurman, Vivica A. Fox or Daryl Hannah a dragon lady? Meghan even embarrassed Mariah Carey on the podcast by refusing to accept the singer's compliment that she was a diva when they were supposed to be celebrating the word. Recently, Prince Harry made a surprise appearance in San Francisco on Wednesday evening. People here revealed that Harry secretly rented a house in San Francisco without Meghan and the divorce rumours proved to be true. In other news, Prince Harry has reportedly gone against his wife Meghan Markle in a bid to secure a relationship with Prince William. Inside sources close to Closer magazine brought this admission to light. They started by revealing that Prince William and Kate Middleton currently have a long-standing pact with Prince Harry that aims to heal their rift, but Meghan Markle seems displeased. According to the insider, Kate's constantly telling him how lovely it would be if they could sit down and somehow try to patch up their differences. Plus, Prince William truly loves Harry, and the pair had a pact to always remain close. But as much as it pains him to admit it, there are serious trust issues standing in the way especially since Prince William requires a cast-iron guarantee that any future conversations and interactions will remain private, if any healing is ever to take place. Meghan Markle, on the other hand, reportedly values openness and hates the thought of Prince Harry doing anything behind her back when it comes to the royals. For those on verse, these terms have come forward since he still feels a huge deal of hurt, and it's that very thing that has led to him demanding drastic measures before he considers speaking openly. At the end of the day, William wants to clear the air with Harry and is willing to talk to him, but it's been burned too many times at this point to trust that what he says in confidence will stay between them instead of being broadcast in a documentary, a memoir, or leaked by those close to Meghan and Harry. Due to this, he wants him to sign an agreement that their conversations remain private. 